It is looking incredible. Pergolas are going up, trees up. That looks so cool. How cool would it be to actually build a waterfall completely out of basalt columns? So we've got this little space over here and an enormous amount of broken fountain rocks to play with. And I thought the two of us would go ahead and build a fountain rock waterfall in this little area. So Chris, what do you think of this idea? I love, in the spirit of Christmas, <laughs> we are going to go to the land of misfit basalt columns and give them a home and a purpose and a sense of loving family and putting them all together with all the other little misfit basalt rocks. <laughs> I think the best thing is that I have no idea if this is gonna turn out awesome or we should just throw it away, but this is why we have a sandbox to experiment and try new things and see if it works out. everybody, it's Brian with Team Aquascape. I've read all of your messages and thank you so much for contributing and letting me know what you think we should do in the sandbox. It's getting really close to being finished. Unfortunately, this is a huge weight on my heart. We are not gonna be able to have enough time to build my dreamscape inside of this space before any of the other artists get here because there's just still way too much work to be done. We've got the team from Shedsters behind me painting, getting floors in, pouring concrete countertops, all kinds of stuff. You've got Chris back there walking away. We've got our electrician over here bringing all kinds of power over here, not just to the shed, but outlets so we can run all of our miscellaneous features that are in here. So there's no way I can come in here and tear this whole thing, but it is looking incredible. Pergolas are going up, trees up. That looks so cool. We've got some major rocks being set. In fact, that rock actually gets another post for the pergola etched in there. I sat here and actually chopped this whole thing out and got a pin in here so we can drop a post. So I thought Chris and I could sneak over here and actually get one small water feature in. The whole idea for us in the sandbox is to actually to try new things, imagine different types of things. And I've always wanted to try something very unique with fountain rocks. And I saw a whole pallet of broken fountain rocks. Let me show you. We've got all of these busted up fountain rocks in here. We've got all of these busted up fountain rocks. These are all remnants of fountain rocks when they come in. Sometimes when we get them shipped from across seas, they actually fracture and break off. And all of these things get discarded and either tossed away or we try to sell them at discounted prices at our end of year sale. When I first saw fountain rocks, my mind instantly went to Superman crystals. And you guys know what I'm talking about, right? They're like choo, 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 crystals all over the place. And I thought, how cool would it be to actually build a waterfall completely out of basalt columns. So we've got this little space over here and an enormous amount of broken fountain rocks to play with. And I thought the two of us would go ahead and build a fountain rock waterfall in this little area. We've got this little pole right here we need to hide. I've got to tie into this big boulder in here. Our patio is gonna sit in this space and I just thought it'd be really cool to do a fountain rock waterfall in there. And why not experiment here and see what it looks like rather than at a customer's house. So let's keep our fingers crossed, see what this thing looks like, and we'll take you on this little journey this Sunday morning. All right, here we go. So Chris, what do you think of this idea? I love, in the spirit of Christmas, <laughs> we are going to go to the land of misfit basalt columns and give them a home and a purpose and a sense of loving family and putting them all together with all the other little misfit basalt <laughs> rocks and creating something spectacular. So you can see we've got our reservoir already installed. We've got one, two, three, four, five-ish aqua blocks. Yep. So we've got about a 100-gallon reservoir. I think the best thing is that I have no idea if this is gonna turn out awesome or we should just throw it away, but this is why we have a sandbox to experiment and try new things and see if it works out. So I don't know what the first step is. I guess it's just grab one basalt column and <laughs> Yeah, there's, start no, going. there's no 20 products and 20 no, steps. No, no, no. We're gonna I think we just start with maybe a big one on the corner to help hide that big yellow pole mm -hmm. and then just let the rocks talk to you, if you will. And basalt columns talk a little different than maybe moss rock or weathered limestone, but uh, they all kind of talk the same. You know, it's like people from down south versus up north, like understand what they're saying. It's just a little bit more difficult. So here we go. Let's go get the rocks, eh? <laughs> So things are coming together really fast. I'll show you kind of what we got going on. Superman crystals, see? So we're coming here. There's that pole that Chris is wrapping some around. We'll probably pull that last one out that he just set because nobody will see it and we're gonna need it. 
<laughs> like, a, like a scorned puppy. Oh. <laughs> it is dangerous work. These things are extremely sharp. In fact, my pants just found out if you can see that or not, but that was a close one. We're getting this first course set and then we're just gonna kinda come up behind it. We've already used one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven basalt columns. It would be an expensive thing to do if we didn't have all these broken pieces. But we'll keep at it. Here we go. Oh, there's a rare sighting. Today he's got blue on. Look at him. <laughs> Yeah, tell, I'm not wearing my pond guy merch. Uh -huh, yeah, everybody tell him his eyes look good in blue. Uh, you know what, that's <laughs> what the girls say. Yeah. My mom, anyway. <laughs> yeah, exactly, his mom. <laughs> Things are coming right along. Greg heard we were back here building a basalt column waterfall, and the last time I told Greg I wanted to use a lot of basalt columns was... Uh... Your house. <laughs> no, he didn't say that. He said, can I have some of the basalt columns for my house? And I'm like, sure. And then you got like 50. I'm like, oh! <laughs> Whatever. Uh, so at least at least here they're all garbage basalt columns. What did you call them, Chris? They're misfit Mi basalt. Misfit ba oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Say it again. Misfit basalt columns. Okay. They're not garbage. <laughs> so we're just about done. See it kind of coming together here. We've got it doesn't look good on camera at all. But wait till uh it really doesn't. Here, I'll get down here where it looks better. Here. <laughs> so we got Micho, Chris, and Dan working on getting the plumbing in. The plumbing's gonna come around the back side this way up into a spillway back in there and then what I want to do with the spillway is actually take this guy this is one of our new 12 inch spillways it's nice because it's super small now, traditionally the spillway sits horizontal like that we're gonna actually take it and go vertical so I'm gonna take it and go like that that way I don't have to hide such a big giant thing up at the top so we'll actually do two elbows on the bottom come back up with a pipe and the pipe will come up and over the liner and then back around this pole and over in there and then I brought pond builders what would you call that it's like fluorescent green do they paint yeah. this it's preserved so it's got to be painted no it's just like preserved have you smelled this it's nasty oh it smells horrendous <laughs> but we use it to hide flaws and stuff in here and then actually right here this is looking super linear to me so I'm hoping to cover a ton of that area right in there with moss so we don't have such a linear row of basalt columns in there and then we still have to decorate some down in here so I think the next time I'll bring you guys back over here is when this thing is running think but I think it turned out pretty cool I know that guy likes it I love it <laughs> it turned out really great I love that we were able to recycle some stuff that was bound for the dumpster misfit basalt columns love it but built our first basalt column waterfall I think it turned out really really cool tell me what you guys think we did it in like four hours five hours too works great we have a two to four pump on there we're running it at the slowest possible speed and it looks amazing in fact we even put a ball valve on it to slow it down some more I could actually crank it up quite a bit maybe I'll do that you guys want to see what that looks like really quick hey what do you think Pepe El Pepe I like the sound I like, Get out I like of here. Stump. this is not the reaction of a oh, I, mean, I like the stump I'm expecting this from you I like the stump that's what you say yeah I like the stump and of course I bought like, that stump there's like 20 basalt columns in here that only cost you like nine grand for us to build that <laughs> <laughs> that stump is good is that all the way up Micho 
That's all the way up. You want me to turn the ball valve up? No, I think the ball valve's We're flowing a little faster. We actually ripped out a section of foam, which I think helped quite a bit. But I think it looks amazing. Hides that base of that pole. Still need to hide that, because that red pole just doesn't tie in with anything. But what a great use of space. We've got roughly three feet up there and about five feet down here. So in a relatively small space, we built something pretty dramatic. Hey, you guys know the routine. Like, comment, and subscribe. subscribe. See you guys next Sunday. Merry Christmas. Yeah, Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. Thanks for joining in. Bye.